Hey folks, it's Ridgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. Let me get in a bit closer, there we go. Right, we bring that one back like that for our library, and then this one over here, this one's going to run back like this. Right the way through, and it's going to meet up with that one. So then, break that one there, and you are... You're on this one. Okay. There we go. Right. And then I can go and put that one down. And that's the corner there for that one. I've already got the corner for this one established. So then all I need to do is build one more corner for this bit over here. So I'm going to have to dig that one out there. Dig that bit of dirt out there, and then I can start putting down this one. Let me just have a bite to eat second. There we go. And then we can start putting down some logs in here, and I put them down like that. Back up again, and then we can start reversing out along this one. Like this. As long as you get it right. There. Right. Don't need to go any further than that. That's actually, I've gone too far on this one. But that's fine, because we will eventually be taking it back in that side as well. This is just like the first open framework for the part that we're doing in here. And establishing exactly where everything is going to be put and where it's all going to go. So I've got this basic framework in place. I can go and I'm going to put some more torches down over there. And then we're going to dig out some of this floor inside. Let me just go with that one there. And then we'll put these torches down. Wait a minute. Let's roll. Torch there. Torch. 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 How's that? Oh. Right. I need to go out by one more on that one. I've done that wrong. I've, I've got to go out just one more space on that one in order to get that completely right. Uh, have I got time to dig that out? I think I have. Right. So let's go. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to dig these two out a minute. Let me jump down and grab that. We'll go downstairs. We'll go and get some more. And then we can come back up a little bit later and we can deal with this. So where's my long drop? My stairs are there. This is my long drop on this one. Down we go like so much easier going back down like that. That is much better. And yeah, see the counter is all done. We're, we're, we're sort of finished. So there's the basic outline of it. We're started. We have started building our library. I've got ideas for this one. I've got a lot of ideas. We're going to need a lot of sand, and that's going to be a bit of a problem because we don't have any sand nearby. We've got to go quite a long way to be able to get sand. And when I say quite a long way, uh, when I, if, if I remember correctly, the nearest um, actual decent quantity of sand that we've got is desert, which is that direction. You know the track that we started walking to the north which is in that direction uh yeah we need to go like another thousand blocks north to actually reach the desert and that's the nearest bit of desert that we've got to us right here um so we've got a little way to travel for the glass that i want and whilst i'm gonna have a birch floor i don't want birch walls all the way around i just want the dark oak framing that we got right here, and then glass. I want glass walls all the way around, and I don't want to have anything more than that. So in order to be able to get dark oak framing all the way around, we're going to need a lot of glass to be built up. So that one's going to go like that, and then I need one here, one's got to go that way like that and then that one has got to go out that side because i built the other one in the wrong place so it's got to come back like this fine i will do it from the ground if that's what you want me to do fine 
And we go up here. And now I'm just going to dig this bit out like this. And dig our way through this little bit. We'll clear all of this off at some point. We're not going to do it just yet. Um, so I'm going to need to be able to go from where we are right now and travel a long old distance in order to go and get us some sand. And we, I mean, we, we are going to want a lot of sand. And there's nothing wrong with going and getting a load of sand. It's just that we've got to actually go and find all of the desert first. And that's the bit that might end up taking us a little while. I don't remember exactly where the desert is. I think we just go straight north. And just keep traveling north from where we are. I mean, we, we've got the coordinates. We can use coordinates. So we will at least be able to find our way on that one. So that torch... Essentially, I want to remove that. Like, these torches around the edge that I was using just for counting and marking these out. Oh. No, that was... Did I have that right or not? Did I previously have this... I did previously have this correct. Just gone and added in that extra without needing to at all. It's because of how I wanted to do the, the counting on there, but then that goes to a center point on there, which means that the torch would be staggered slightly back. So, yes, it should have been on that one. I did have that correct. I didn't need to just go and add in this outside bit. That was... This is, this, this is what happens when you don't focus properly. Right, let's, let's try focusing, shall we? We'll remove all of this once again that I've just gone and put in here, which I did so completely and utterly needlessly and didn't need to at all. And I'll remove it from this side as well. And then we'll go, we'll run back over there in a minute and go and pick all of that up. That won't take very long. Actually, I'm going to go there now and just grab those just in case they uh, I forget about them. I don't want them to despawn. Like it's, it's useful stuff. Let's jump up onto there. Parkour is not my strong point. Right. Let's go up there. And then we will dig our way up with this one like this. And then we can remove that with the axe. And then I can go down this side. And I can gather up the rest of these. And we're back where I was just now. Take that one off. Then climb back up this way. I'm going to climb up on the inside. We're going to have to make sure that we've got some steps and stuff around here so that we can properly clamber up and clamber down again. So I'll put a double one up there. So yeah, that is how I need to have this. And then that one, I come over here and I put a torch down like that and then one there and then it would have one on there so then I can put one over here and I go up and it is on the right spot right there yes okay and then I can come over to this side and we get the shovel out and I'll dig this off now the reason I'm putting all of the grid down like this and actually putting the bits of timber like into the ground is later on if I decide that I want to come along and I want to do some more work on this um, and like expand it out by quite a bit then we've already got all of the under bits like all of these bits in place so that if we dig out from up underneath I don't have to like make any changes there's no significant changes that are going to have to be made in order to keep this exactly the same as what it is right now I do want to just drop down there and put this one. It would help if I actually pressed the mouse button to put that in place. So we put that one in there like that. And then I'll go one, two, three, four, five. And then the same over here as well. Right, yes, we have, everything is in place exactly where it should be. We've got no problems with that at all. I kind of, I'm looking at this, I don't need to dig anything else out from underneath. We can just have this sat up on top, but 
it looks untidy and messy, and I'm not sure if I should be removing everything out from under here or not. Kind of wanting to, and like leveling this all out, and then so that we, we don't have any kind of problems at all with, uh, well, well anything. Like, I don't want anything nasty spawning in under here. If we, if we go and cover it all over. I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking this. But now, I've, I've so I've, I've measured it all out with the torches, and we've definitely got everything. It is all in the same spot. It's all the same measurements all the way across. So now I'm going to remove the torches after just spending all that time going and putting them in and making sure that they're all counted out exactly and, and perfect. There we go. And we're going to start with this. So we're going to go and put that down like that. And I'm going to put it down like that as well. And then we start covering over with a layer of flooring like this. Now, this is the kind of the, the lobby area for the library. And I'm not sure at the moment if I'm going to do this in a load of separate rooms. Which we could do because we've got... We've got these pillars. They're marking out where the edges of each of these squares are going to be. And I think it's right that we do have these squares marked out like that. Um, and then the flooring sort of goes over the top of the the main pillars and the main supports, the main beams all the way around. But then once we've done that bit, so we've got all of those in place. All right, let's just cover this over a minute there we go and I want another stack um well then we gotta sort of decide how I'm gonna have each of the rooms and how I'm gonna lay out the bookshelves in here as well so that they can easily be seen I'm not wanting to have a massive great big high stack of bookshelves where the name gets put onto a tab and then onto a sign and then it is never seen again it's it's got to be so that it is visual um it is vis it is visible and you know so that you will be able to see it more than once you won't just see a name once and then disappears forever and then that's it we, we're gonna have to sort of make sure that this looks right so let's go over here like this. I uh, did have it suggested that, you know, and I, I, I absolutely agree. This this has been done a lot. You know, a lot of people have done the whole, you know, wall name, memorial wall, basically, is what it was referred to as. Um, and it's, it is a common practice. Uh, maybe it would be quite good to name mobs, you know, get name tags and name mobs. And whilst I think that could be quite cool... The only problem with that is that uh, that means that the mobs wouldn't despawn and that then we'd end up with hundreds of them and we'd probably end up with some really, really major lag problems. So I'm just going to pop that down there like that, put the rest of this in and there. So we've got one floor area in here. I like the idea of having this room here, though, as more of a lobby, and maybe with a bit of a glass floor here. We could always put a balcony out this side. Um, maybe we could have, like, an extra bit with the dark oak logs coming out and back in again, or even fastened into the cliff over there and coming out. And then a glass floored balcony in underneath it. I think that could look quite cool. I'm also going to want to find out exactly where the ladder comes up underneath in here. So that I can go and build an extra bit of... Well, we've got the extra bit of ladder right there. So just for a minute, I'm going to do a dirt one up to there like that. And then... That one is going to be dug out like that, which means that, that one can be dug out as well. And that should line up with the other. So then if I go back through here, climb back up on top, and that is where we can leave. So we've the sun is setting, so I should just be able to jump down there. Excellent. As long as you're careful when you jump down, everything should be fine. All right, in we go. If I'm going to be doing a lot of glass flooring, and I want glass walls as well, I, the, like the, 
all the walls all the way round, I want them 100% glass. I don't want anything else on them. 100% glass all the way through. And that way we can look out. But that bit up there... Like, I'm still thinking that there's a distinct possibility that I will extend this wall here all the way across. Uh, which is going to cover up where we've got that floor. We're basically, we're not going to be able to see that. So we'd want a balcony out this side with a glass floor in it. And that would be dark oak as well, but it would be glass for the rest of it. You wouldn't see any birch on it. Um, there would be a bit of, maybe there would be a birch bit around the edge. Like a, just two block wide bit of birch all the way around and then glass in the middle so it's sort of like it's holding and supporting the glass all the way around that could be quite effective actually if we did it like that i reckon we could do something like that now how much birch have i got left i haven't got very much and i haven't got very much here either now i got two birch saplings there I've got a little bit of birch log there. What else have I got in the way of birch? I've got none in there, and I want to have a look in here. So I'm going to need more birch, which means that we need to go and harvest a bit. Right, okay, we don't need to go and harvest any at the moment. We just need to put some saplings down. That's easy. We can do that. I also don't have very much in the way of wheat. And I'm going to go and breed those cows again, and then we're going to harvest a few. We've got ten bits of leather, so we... Ooh, there is some more birch logs there. Ideal. We're going to go and harvest a few cattle. Where did those other logs go? Uh, not in there. Nope. All right, I come out of there. Uh, I'll go into here. There is the birch logs. Okay. And that's about it for a minute. Right, so I've got a few birch logs on me that I can go do some stuff with. Over here, we've got a lot of chickens crowded in here. And I'm getting a, I'm getting a huge amount of feathers. And i got one single solitary cooked chicken. I've really got to do something different about that. The, the murdery murder machine has definitely got to be changed. We are going to need to do something different with that. Now, I've only got 10 pieces of wheat. So we're going to harvest all of the wheat that we've got in here. And then we're going to use it to breed the cows. I'm going to ignore the sheep, though. I'm not going to breed the sheep. I'm just going to leave them. So I'll harvest everything in here. I know it's not all ready yet. But most of it's ready, and quite frankly, that is good enough for me. And then we can give the cows a little bit, just, just a little bite to eat. You know, I probably didn't need to go and pick that one up. Yeah, right, that's, that's everything picked up. And then I can take wheat seeds there and wheat seeds there, like that. I really want to build our greenhouses. I, I, I really like the greenhouses, and I, I, I like uh, how I make them as well. I'm quite fond of the combination of dark oak and birch. It's like it's got a, it's got a nice contrast, but I don't want to build the greenhouses out of dark oak and birch. I'm not going to use that particular contrast for it. I'm going to do it a bit differently. I'm going to build the greenhouses. I'm going to be using acacia wood. Now... I know there's a lot of people that are not very fond of acacia wood because, you know, it, it, I mean, it's like this, this bright orange stuff. And quite frankly, it's not that attractive in a lot of settings, but I like it. And so I'm kind of wanting to do that mixed with possible. Well, I, I don't know actually yet. I haven't fully decided how I'm going to do it. I got another 64 seeds there. I'm chucking all of the seeds in. All of the seeds that I got, I'm going to chuck the whole lot in. Right. For some reason... Like, they, they don't seem to all go in all that quickly. Like, I, sometimes I only need a few seeds for the composter, and then sometimes it seems to use a huge amount of seeds to fill the thing up. Anyway, I suppose it doesn't matter all that much. Um, I've got the seeds in there. We've, I've done what I needed to do. The dark oak over here, we won't bother harvesting that at the moment because I got so much of it anyway 
that it it's really not a concern. Next on the list, I will... Let me just take the 64 right here. How many of you are going to want some wheat today? There's lots and lots of you here. It's very busy. It's very crowded in here. There, let's just keep going with this. Keep going. Look at all of these cows. This is brilliant. Any more that want a bit of wheat to eat? Any more want a bit of wheat to eat? Make the most of this because several of you are about to go on the block. Several of you are about to go on the chopping block now. Right. I've done that. Things are a little bit crowded in here. That's fine. There's the first... Wow. Robust. And I am accidentally hitting some of the little ones. So I don't want to do that too much. There's another one gone. And you. So I'm I'm obviously I'm hitting some of these. There, see, I'm hitting baby ones, and that's what i got to be careful of. I don't want to hit the baby ones. That's just a complete and total waste. So I've, I've got to be a little bit careful about my um, cow-killing techniques. You go away. And there's another one down over there. Uh, there's one. That one's out. There's one there. That one I hadn't hit before. You can always tell which ones you've hit before because they don't immediately... You, well, the ones you've hit before are more likely to fall over when you hit them again. And that's all I'm after is the, is the ones to fall over. Just like that. There we go. And you. You'd been hit before. There's a baby one there. Didn't mean to hit that one. I want you. Come here. Come here. There. Right. That'll probably do for a minute. This That's ten cows. I've, I've just killed ten cows. I've got lots in here still. I think we'll leave it at that. We'll, so we, we've got another ten bits of leather. Uh, that makes twenty bits of leather that I've got back at home. Uh, plus I got twenty-one steaks out of this as well now. So we're not doing too bad for that. I got loads of sheep in there. I'm going to leave all the sheep and I'm not going to do anything to them at all. I'm not going to get involved with that. And we're going to run back through here. So I got a few bits of... Oh, wait. No, there was one more thing that I want to do. I came out here specifically to do and I haven't done it. And I need to. I need to make sure that I do this. Right. Uh, you know what? You're in the way. Let's just get you out of the way then like that. And then we don't need to worry about you. So I'm going to put these in here. Now, the great thing with doing some birch trees is oaks, you sometimes get uh, one or two of them grow quite big. Those grow big. Birch trees don't. They don't grow big. And I don't believe you need to worry about uh, anything being nearby or anything like that. You literally just put them in a line like this and then they'll all grow. At least I think they do. And they're not too far away from anything else. So I'm going to do a long line like this. Birch trees all the way back through. Right the way back like that. And I'm not going to do it right up against the fence. There. One line. I've still got 38 saplings. So I'm going to go over here. I know it's outside of our property. We don't normally do things outside of our property. It's in the Badlands, this is. We don't normally venture into the Badlands. But we're going to venture into the Badlands just for doing this. Let's get rid of couple of bits of the dirt right there like that and then I'm gonna take another line of these and I'm gonna start there like that and I'm gonna put a line of birch saplings down here like this there and I'm gonna keep that line going I'm gonna just leave a gap there I'm gonna bring this the way back over here like this and then I'm going to do I don't want to get too close to these because if they grow while you're in like you're passing over them it can end up hurting you rather badly right 
Lots and lots of birch saplings all the way back through. I am going to go over here and I'm going to remove this oak tree here. So that, that doesn't cause us any problems. And I'm going to remove this one as well. So that that one also doesn't cause us any problems. And then the rest of it should be fine. So we will come back and we will check on our birch saplings a little bit later. I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. I'm going to go and get me a bit of sleep. We have sleeped. I'll put the wheat seeds up there. I got 21 raw beef and I've got one bit of raw mutton right there. So I will take the raw mutton from there. I'm burning up these logs. I don't want those at all. And I'll let that one bit of raw mutton cook and we will probably eat that one first. We'll have that down here and then I will drop in the beef in there so that we can burn these up. And then as soon as that one is switched over, I'll drop in these three charcoal and I'm hoping that will be enough to cook most of the beef that is in there. And that one's gone through, so now I can just carry on and do this. So I've I've got steaks, I've got everything else that I could possibly want. The wheat I will leave behind in here, like that. I've got the um I got the 20 pieces of leather. Now what we have got down here is we got a load of sugar cane, and a lot of it is actually grown. It's almost too ready to go and harvest, actually. But I want to go back up and I want to do a bit more up there before we go doing anything else. I very much like to at least get some name some name tags down and get like some of the starting points established. Get some of the, some of the first bits done and properly established. And then after that, well, we'll have to wait and see. Now, in order to be able to get up there... I mean, I can do this at the moment, but we're going to need to finish building that ladder all the way up. That's going to be another thing that we'll do. Right. It snowed up here, so I'm going to need torches in here. Although, we'll end up, we'll put a roof on this. And i just got to decide how high I'm going to build the roof. So, to start with, let's put the torches on the inside, shall we? And we will put these down on a 4x4 grid. One, two, three, torch. One, two, three, torch. One, two, three, torch. One, two, three, torch. Right, there's our four by four grid. And then I can just put the rest of this down like this. And like the, the rest of it is actually fairly simple. And this, this, I believe, will also melt the snow so that it won't stay here. Possibly, I don't know if it reaches that one or not. But at least there's enough light up here to stop anything else spawning. And I think it does hold off. Now, as this is going to be our entrance and exit from the library. Like, we kind of don't... We, we're not going to want any books in this bit. And that bit over there, like, I'm thinking this is going to be one big room here. So, we'll start covering over the floor on this bit as well. So, if this is one big room here just to start off with... Then what we're going to want is another set of rooms in behind. And that's where we're going to start putting the books. We'll be going that way as well. And we'll be going out that way. But this is kind of like the center point of the library right here. And we're going to be building a balcony out the front of it. Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. If you have time, do please consider checking out the links in the description down below. There is one for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers, including but not limited to Minecraft and Farming Simulator. And there is also Fanatical, who sell vast quantities of computer games at very reasonable prices. There is also a discount code in the description alongside the link. If you've enjoyed this video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.